Okay, uh, I'm just going to quickly review uh, Chapter 7 for our um, Kahoot test. And um, the things that I really want you to focus on are these things right here at the bottom of uh, page 124 and 125. Uh, Louisiana Purchase, 1803, President Jefferson buys it from France. Lewis and Clark explores it, uh, 1819, Florida. We get it from Spain in the adams onis Treaty. Let me clear this off right here. So you definitely want to know that. Uh, Texas was a republic. Before, it was an independent republic. And then we annexed it in 1845. Um, so we get Texas. And then in 1846, we make a treaty with Britain to solidify our hold on Oregon territory. And in 1848, war with uh, Mexico gives us California and the Southwest. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so um, other things that we should know, uh, definitely know your vocabulary words. Treaty, formal written agreement between two nations. Expedition, a journey taken by a group of people for a particular purpose. Um, then Lewis and Clark, uh, they were helped by a number of people, especially Sacagawea here. And know your, again, know your vocabulary, missions, buildings that served as a church and school where priests taught the American Indians about Christianity and European way of doing things. Uh, it's already talked about the Adams Onus, Oregon, Texas, California. Um, the move west, California gold rush. Okay, it's California where they found gold, San Francisco, 49ers, Golden Gate Bridge, you know, these are all things that you can remember to help you remember that the gold rush was in California. Uh, manifest, clear and obvious, destiny, something that is bound up in the future. You combine them together, manifest destiny. It was clearly obvious that we were bound to go west in, in that future. So uh, that's what manifest destiny was about. Um, People went there for freedom, gold rush, cheap land, lumber, and uh, as we'll see in just a second, not everybody was um, happy about this. The Indians were forced, Trail of Tears, where uh, Cherokee Indians were forced to move to Oklahoma. Um, they had the uh, Indian Removal Act, which said that they, the go U.S. government can make treaty with American Indians to exchange land. Um, inventor, first person to think or make of something. Let's see. Entrepreneur, someone who organizes resources to bring new or better product, uh, a better product or service to the market, hoping to make a profit. Now, here's where we get into names. So, this is where you want to remember names. You got Cotton Gin for Eli Whitney. You got Anderson McCormick and the Reaper, uh, Robert Fulton and the Steamboat, and then you've got Peter Cooper with the Steam Locomotive. Um, now we got abolitionist people who worked on slavery, emancipation, the freeing from bondage. So abolitionists are the people that want to free people from slavery, and emancipation is the act of freeing from slavery. And then we get to our people again, Harriet Tubman. She was known for uh, the Underground Railroad. Uh, William Lloyd Garrison was another abolitionist, and he was known for writing for the, or he created a newspaper called The Liberator. And then we have Frederick Douglass, who was an escaped slave, and he wrote for the North Star. And then we get to women. Uh, suffrage, the right to vote in election. Make sure you know that word. And then we've got our three people here. Isabel Sojourner Truth, she was an escaped slave um, and became a suffragette. Elizabeth K. Staten was a gifted writer, made speeches. Susan B. Anthony was all about getting the right to vote. In fact, she was arrested one time for voting illegally. And that's basically it, uh, Chapter 7. Just look over those things. Know your territories. Know your people. Know your definitions. And I think you'll, you'll do very, very well on Chapter 7. Thanks for watching.